So as Celian said, um, uh, I'm going to talk about um, how to align spikes with histology data. I'm Brain Globe. I'm filling in for Adam Tyson. Um, we are both um, software developers at the Sainsbury Welcome Center at UCL, uh, and I, I mostly work on, on software for uh, histology data. So the, the first question is, why, why do we want to do this? Uh, so first of all, you're, you're, record, you're recording from lots of cells at once, uh, and you need to know which brain region these recordings are from to be sure that you can interpret uh, your data correctly. Uh, additionally, it might be very useful to combine recordings from multiple animals to be a, a, a able to align the electrophysiological signal um, for multiple animals from the same brain region. So you need, so you need to do this um, uh, through some kind of histological data. Uh, how do you do this? Uh, the, the first thing you do uh, in practice is that you put a die on your uh, NeuroPixels probe. Uh, you insert it uh, in the mouse brain, uh, and then you image it. You image the brain. Typically, you so so the the tools I'm going to talk about today um, are typically used when you do whole brain imaging. So you might clear the brain and image it with a light sheet microscope, or the data I'm showing today is from a two photon zero section uh, uh, microscopy. Um, and this is what it looks like. And so because of the dye that you put in your your data on the right, uh, you can see that. The, the probe shows up as this very bright uh, region in the mouse brain. You can see the olfactory bulbs at the front and the cerebellum at the back um, of this uh, zero section two photon microscope uh, image. So the tools that you would use here is uh, are all work kind of the same. So you have you, you take your raw data. This is the same data I showed before. Uh, it's just cut in half visualized slightly, slightly differently. Uh, you can see a part of the probe here. You register it to an atlas. Uh, what that means is that you align it to a standard coordinate space uh, by matching your sample image to a, a template image, a kind of reference image that is an average mouse brain in this case. Um, there's many atlases and that uh, shows you the location of the probe in um, uh, overlaid with a segmentation of this atlas. And then you can segment your probe either automatically or manually. In this case, it's quite easy because it's a one dimensional thing. You can um, stick some points on it and fit a line through those. And that allow allows you to um, uh, visualize and analyze um, the probes um, both in your sample space, but also if you move uh, everything, if you transform everything to the Atlas space, you can overlay several probes to check, uh, for several probes from different animals to check that they're um, all in the in the region you expect them to. In this case, there's uh, seven animals that are all, you can see they're all more or less um, put in the same uh, place in the visual cortex. And then uh, you can compare the anatomical data with your um, electrophysiological data. Uh, the tools I'm going to demo are called Brain Reg and Brain Globe Segmentation. They uh, are part of the Brain Globe suites of computational tools for neuroanatomy. Um, and the, the first allows you to um, register your data to an atlas, and the second allows you to uh, segment out pixel probes. Uh, and also then you can we, we provide tools for, for various uh, ways of visualizing the data. Uh, I want to mention that it's important to validate your data um, because, uh, so, so in our case, we validated it and we can see that there's um, different anatomical, uh, different people that have annotated uh, the data, uh, the, the histological data, and we see what, how well it matches the electrophys the, the neuropixels data. Um, and you can see that the, the distance typically is between 50 and 100 microns, which is um, relatively good, I think. But the, the way you prepare your sample might affect this. And so it's important to, to validate um, your data. 
cool. So I will show you a quick demo. In the interest of time, um, this is uh, a video. The All our tools are available through uh, Napari. If you don't know Napari, uh, it's uh, similar to Fiji, but a Python-based kind of image viewer that um, allows you to uh, drag and drop your data into it. It works with lots of file formats. So here you should be able to see the, the bright um, probe and the cortex. Annoyingly, the video didn't um, uh, doesn't show all the kind of menus that pop up, but our first tool is called Brain Reg. You can set um, the orientation of your sample, as well as what uh, which of the atlases you want to align it to. Um, and that allows you, so this usually takes, you can then hit run, and that takes a few hours. Magically here, it takes less than a second. Uh, it allows you to show the this registration that this tool does, allows you to show the anatomical regions overlaid onto your sample, um, like that. You can scroll through, you can see that the probe is as expected in, in uh, visual cortex and then goes down towards the hippocampus. Uh, cool. And so then we have a different tool uh, called brain drop segmentation. Um, and you can you, uh, load your results from the previous tools, uh, both in kind of in the coordinate space defined by your sample or in the coordinate space defined by the atlas which uh, then allows you to, uh, it's kind of more powerful because it allows you to overlay data from uh, several uh, samples. So here we've loaded it in a uh, sample space. You can again find the, the bright probe that you've recently labeled in your data. And uh, uh, using the track tracing button, you can uh, segment it out manually in this case. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to find the, the tip of the probe. If you want to include that. And there's also this spline points parameter on the right. You can say how many points you want to have um, in the curve that you fit to your points. So in this case, it's a thousand. Um, and you will see what that means in the output on the next slide. So you can see that now we have this um, probe in three dimensions that was fitted, uh, this line that was fitted to the probe three dimensions. And you can save it here as well for, for uh, visualization. And so the, the output that you get um, is the, the position of each point along the, the NeuroPixels probe and the which, which area it was inside. So this is kind of basically an Excel sheet uh, telling you which uh, brain regions that uh, your um, NeuroPixels probe went through. This can also be used for other things. So if you have viral injection sites, or optical fibers in your brain, you can also use the same technique to uh, understand uh, where things are in the brain relative to an atlas. Uh, this uh, is not only possible for the mouse brain, so we provide a ton of different atlases. Uh, a lot of this is rodent focused. We uh, have recently added um, various fish uh, atlases and we're working on making more. So if you if you want an atlas uh, uh, that exists or you have some data for with which that would be good to make an atlas, um, chat to us. Um, this is the kind of whole idea of brain drop that will remain interoperable with um, that you can use the same tools for for any uh, atlas that exists. Uh, this is the list of current atlases. We've also added uh, we've had a fun. A student project where we've added the axolotl brain atlas uh yeah thanks for listening thanks to our funders um there's this is a community project thanks to everyone who's contributed um to brain globe and here's some links if you want to know more <laughs>